Command Center's program log can be edited any number of different ways. One of the easiest and most intuitive ways to do it is by just dragging and dropping things right into the program log as you're viewing it in Command Center. Let's show you several different ways you can do that. One is by finding a song and just dropping it in place. Let's take this one right here. Just put it into the log. This is where we have dropped it, and that's where it will play. We can just as easily then take that and drag it over to a place called Shuttle Pad, and Shuttle Pad will remember that song. And if we wanted to, we could scroll to another place in the log later on in the day, just wherever we would like, grab the Shuttle Pad, drag it back over and drop, and the song is added a second time down below. Not only is that an easy way to make duplicates of songs if you needed to do that for some particular reason, but Shuttle Pad also is a great way to quickly add a bunch of ads that you need to put in, say, throughout the course of the day. Uh, you put the ad in shuttle pad and then just go drop, 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 drop to put them in all day long. You can also drag and drop from any operating system folder, as simple as this. And here's kind of a fun one. If you've already configured some hot buttons like these, you can add those to your program log and schedule them to run automatically. For example, we can take this public affairs theme here, drag it up, just drop it, and it's added to the program log. And this one's pretty fun, too. Watch this. We'll take this song and drop it on one of the hot buttons. And that song has now become a hot button. It even built the label for you. And you can also just use a folder from the operating system. Well, for example, take this PSA right here, drop it on a button, and the button becomes the PSA.